My name is Fiona. I am 21 years old. I am a cosplayer based in Toronto, Canada. I've been cosplaying now for probably about six years and I say that I recently have gotten more serious about cosplaying is because I found my love and passion for sewing. I am currently trying to get my bachelor's in textiles and I would ideally like to become a seamstress one day. Juggling schoolwork and cosplay is definitely interesting. Sometimes cosplay does unfortunately have to take a take a place on the back burner just because school is definitely a big priority for me and because I'm very dedicated to my program and I, I really love my program. It's something that I want to put a lot of focus and love into. I re did recently um, decide to quit my part-time job on the weekend which will hopefully allow for more time for cosplay in the future. So since the beginning, I've probably made roughly about 30 cosplays. I would probably say if I'm really chugging at it and I'm kind of taking all my spare time and putting it towards that costume, I could probably get it done in like two, two to three months depending on the complexity of it. My, like my wings, for example, just there was so much trial and error, like it depends too on on the costume that that took like almost a full year to finish just because there was so much like learning to do with that costume. I do like to definitely take my own spin on character sometimes and it doesn't necessarily have to be like in a huge way like the angel wings I made um, and just the that outfit. I really went in on like the little details and like making it extra frilly and kind of like hyper feminine kind of taking it from the show and kind of adding my own twist to it. I think one of my most notorious projects is definitely making of a pair of fake boobs for a cosplay that I did recently. So for this particular character I couldn't just get away with like stuffing a bra or something like that. Um, so I decided to make my own pair of fake boobs um, which was a huge learning experience. I went into it being like this will be fun and it definitely was fun but it's so hard to make like a body part like out of like fabric. It's just something that never crossed my mind before was like how difficult it would be to like replicate the features of like skin. When I wore them to the convention people were very interested and a lot of faces got shoved in between them for pictures. <laughs> I was like, I have a few selfies of me with people just like with their face in between my fake boobs. Cosplay nowadays is so, it can be really overwhelming. And for younger people that want to get into cosplaying, it's really like daunting. I, you know, I think you kind of just got to like go for it and just do it. And I think cosplay should root back to the fact that like we're just nerds dressing up in anime wigs. Although some people do take it very seriously, I think that there still needs to be like a lightness and a fun about cosplaying and like, you know, just have fun and just enjoy yourself kind of thing and try not think about it too much. My name is Victoria. Um, I go by Tempest Cosplay. A lot of people call me Vic. I've been cosplaying for about a year and a half now. I mostly focus on, I want to say, armor and wigs and crossplay in particular as of right now. Crossplay is pretty much cosplaying except you're cosplaying the opposite gender of what you identify as. I like to do it because I find that it's more of a challenge for me because I'm accustomed to being a female every day. It also helps me uh, work on my acting skills and my makeup skills as well. Cosplay is a way for me to express myself. Being able to dress up in a costume and personify someone else while still having aspects of yourself is a really cool way to express yourself with the confidence that that character might have as well. I think my biggest cosplay accomplishment was actually getting to be a cosplay guest at Anime Show Gatsu. I told myself the year before, I remember after seeing all the guests, I was like, that's gonna be me next year. And like, it felt so amazing that like, it was a goal I was so serious about like a year before and I thought about it all year and then it came true and it was like, Awesome. So recently I did my first ever panel um, that was solo. It was very nerve wracking. Um, I was really scared, but then I saw a lot of familiar faces. So that was really, really exciting. So I talked a lot about how to boost your reach on social media, how to get yourself out there, um, which conventions might be right for you, as well as how to boost your confidence in cosplay and to like deal with the negativity in a way that isn't too like 
damaging to yourself. My table at Anime Shogatsu uh, was one of my favorite parts. It was really, really fun. So I set up all the prints and uh, people started walking by the table and a lot of people were asking to touch my props or like, oh, what's this, what's that? Or is that you? That was my favorite question in the pictures. People were like, is that you? I'm like, yeah, these are all pictures of me. <laughs> so it was really fun um, to see how people's like faces would change when they look at my props or like pictures of me. And it was, it was just, it was so amazing to have people come up to me and be so excited. But like, it was funny cause they were nervous and I was nervous and they're like, can you sign this? I'm like, yeah. And I was like shaking and it was really nerve wracking, but I got more comfortable. The table was a really, really fun experience. I enjoyed all of the support and I definitely want to do it again. My favorite wig that I've ever made is definitely my Kilo Zoldic wig from Hunter x Hunter. Um, it's actually in the process of being finished right now. I'd say I'm probably about like a quarter done. And I'm really, really satisfied with how it's coming out because I think this is probably one of my most like screen accurate wigs that I've ever made. Plus he's also one of my favorite characters. So it's really nice to be able to like kind of have him in my room. That sounds kind of weird, but I really like this wig. <laughs> So the styling process for a wig, um, for me, always starts with teasing the wig first. I found like over time, like the more I'd tease a wig and the more time I'd put like trying to uh, puff it up, the more it loses its shine and then the easier it is to work with. It kind of holds its shape better after you tease it because it's used to like kind of like all of the wear and tear of the fibers. It's kind of like the main thing for organizing where you want all of your spikes and your sweeps and all of that kind of stuff to go. And then after that is when I'd take my hairspray and my hair dryer and then I would um, kind of lock everything in place and I have to do it very lightly because the more you use um, the less it wants to cooperate in the long run because it will be like a hard rock so you really want to take your time making sure that everywhere that you've placed the fibers and the spikes is where you actually want them to be. So I would definitely say that my favorite piece is my Bakugo Katsuki grenade that I made. I think this is definitely the prop that has gotten the most reaction. I make all of my props and armor out of EVA foam or foam mats that I buy from either the dollar store or Toys R Us. I think one thing that really separates my props from other props is that I always make sure to sand even if it has a clean edge. I find that it looks a little harsh when you don't. So I'm not sure if you can see down here, but it looks very sharp and I really don't like that because it's not accurate. It looks a little bit too crisp. So I always like to go over um, on the lowest setting for my tool and just give it a nice clean like sanding and I find it really helps. It makes it look more like dimensional and less just like I glued these pieces together and this is what they look like. Cosplay is probably the only thing that I'm like super passionate about so I think um, at the rate I'm going I could be able to monetize it with like armor patterns and wig commissions and possibly like having seminars and all that kind of stuff in classes about like how to do this kind of stuff as well as putting out tutorials that cost money as well so like I've already thought about it I've already planned it out so my biggest goal would definitely be um, making this a full-time or a part-time job um, and I also hope to travel the world as a guest as well that would be like insane so I would love that. important to me because it's become such a huge part of my life like I honestly can't imagine my life now without cosplaying it's managed to like intertwine itself so deeply rooted in like who I am as a person that if I just suddenly stopped cosplaying I'd, I'd have like a huge identity crisis I'd be like who am I if I lost cosplay like it would really and this sounds a little dramatic but like a part of me would almost be like gone so I really can't imagine my life without it and I think that's definitely like the biggest motivation as well it's made me more confident in a sense. I feel like, especially within the past few years, I've definitely become more confident just in myself. And, you know, I found a, something that I'm good at, you know? You know, sometimes you feel like you're just kind of drifting and you're like, I mean, I'm okay at this and I'm okay at that, but I'm not like really good at something. And I feel like I found something that I'm like, hey, I'm not too awful at this. So let's keep doing this thing. The main thing that motivates me, um, I get a lot of positive and encouraging messages of people telling me like, because of you or because of this project, I've had the courage to take on this. So I see that and I'm like, wow, like for some people, my work is like the driving factor of what keeps them going. And like, I really want to help people fuel their own fire because I've had other cosplayers who have really inspired me. 
remembering why you started cosplaying and that passion and you know trying to pull from that but also at the same time re realizing and remembering that like you know you're just a human sometimes you know you're just not as creative as other times and that's okay and being easy on yourself. I'm Tempest. I'm Moogie Moo and I'm, I'm a cosplayer. cosplayer.